Oh, Apple. Oh, Hazelnut. Oh, Apple. Oh, Hazelnut. Appleford's Cluster. Everyone's a perfect couple. If you want to avoid those tiresome hold-ups, check the updated traffic picture and page your article. Television South brings you the best in viewing for Wednesday evening. At 8, strike it lucky as Michael Barrymore gets his signals crossed. Portable colour TV. And half an hour later, there's no love lost when Who's the Greatest pits Rod Laver against John McEnroe. Judge him solely as a player, a genius at the game. Strike it lucky and Who's the Greatest, both for Wednesday on Television South. The whole becomes a centre of attention for everyone in Brookside, and all that's about to start on Channel 4. About to walk onto our screens here on Television South, as you've just seen, a very funny man enjoying for the first time his own television special. Michael Barrymore. edition of This Is Your Life. Now, as you know, we usually go out and about in the street to surprise our subject. But tonight, there's no need because tonight our subject is actually sitting here in the studio audience. <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't realize what a surprise he's got coming. You can almost bite on the atmosphere. <laughs> Relax, madam. It's not you. <laughs> Nor is it you, madam, uh, uh, nor you. But uh, what about you, sir? Do you think that it might be you? Oh, no, it's, it's not me. Uh, uh, well, maybe not, maybe not. But what about the lady over there? Yes, you, madam. Oh, yes. No, 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 not me. No. Uh, uh, well, you can relax, madam, because it isn't you. It is, in fact, it is, in fact, the gentleman sitting next to you. Yes, you, sir. You, Ron Willard, tonight. This is your life. <laughs> no, not me, Eamon. No, no. Come on, Ron. No, no, Up no, on no, the no, stage, no, 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 and we'll no, have no, no, a bit no. of fun. You know about Come on now. You know about this? No, no, honestly. Come on, Ron. No, no. You might as well, because all the doors are locked. You can't get out. No, Come on now. No, Come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. Come on. The essence of this show is to be surprised. Mind you don't rip the Now, come on, lads. Get him up on the stage. We've got a lot to get through. <laughs> get up! Get up! Come on. Come on, lads. Get, up. get him on. Be careful. Don't damage him. He's valuable cover tonight. Relax, Ron. It's only a little jeep. <laughs> all right. I'm all right. I'm... <laughs> Go right now, Ron. 
That's all right, lads. Oh, you can leave him now. I think he's fully relaxed. <laughs> now then, Ron Willers, something tells me you weren't expecting this to happen to you. <laughs> Well, we've got still more surprises in store for you tonight. <laughs> you were born in Leicester. I was born in Worthing. <laughs> you were the eldest by ten minutes of a pair of identical twins. I'm an only child, you pillock. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's bring on your twin brother, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're obviously pleased to see your brother, and I expect you'll have a lot to talk about after the show. <laughs> we know that your we know that your poor mother has been ill of late. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nevertheless, she says that she wouldn't miss this evening for the world. Come in, Elder Wellers. Uh, 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 always the joker. <laughs> now then, Hilda, what kind of a boy was Ron? He was a very happy child. Oh, no. sure about <laughs> I've never seen her before. Are you you just start to annoy me now. now. <laughs> There's a river at the bottom of our garden. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you, Elder Willis. <laughs> now, let's carry on with this intriguing story of the Willers family. Look, I, I think you've made a mistake here, Andy. This is not my family. But. You are Ron Willard. Yeah, I'm Ron Willers, but not the one you want, obviously. I've never seen him before, and that's not my mother. Well, I'll tell you something. I was going to bring on your wife. But I'm not married. But I've got her here. <laughs> but you said this is not your wife. Who cares? Ron Willard, this is your life. Please welcome the cop. It's my husband. Oh, the valley up and down. Bloodwing. <laughs> Die. Oh, Bloodwing. Why? Why? <laughs> Maybe I didn't treat you. Not as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't love me. Quite as awesome as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. Thank you. 
for being America. Buying a credit is so nice. One look at us and they charge twice. What will you have to do keep playing? Country to bloom in America, Cadillac to in America, industry bloom in America. Well, America. Get a little bit of 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 a I go back to San Juan. I know a boat you can get on. Well, I, everyone there will give big cheer. Everyone there will have good looking at a power station built inside a mountain to preserve the beauty of the environment. But the environment isn't just the countryside. It's the places where we work and live. Thanks to electricity, we live in a brighter, cleaner world because electricity plays a vital part in everything from keeping a check on the elements and keeping the elements in check to safeguarding national treasures. The power that enriches all of our lives. Electricity. Energy for life.
Heinz have a new range of foods for people who are watching their weight. It's not fatty, just straightforward, everyday food with a full measure of flavour. The only thing it lacks is a few calories. Which might help tip the scales in your favour. Weight Watchers from Heinz. They're cheering for the boys at Quickfit. There's good old boys in blue. They really do look after me. They'll do the same for you. If you are a sore sleeve mendon, then pop along today. They'll soon sort out your worn tires too, and have you won your way. So next time you're in trouble, and your old car lets you down... Remember the words of this little song, you'll hear it all around town. You can't get better than a quick fit fitter. You can't get better than a quick fit fitter. You can't get better than a quick fit fitter. We're the boys of trust. Don't get a complex. Get Amplex. Fresh breath capsules for Amplex total freshness. For mortgages, insurance, or money in your trousers, join the national and provincial, and you're safe as little red houses. Hello, Sue. You all right? Yes, thanks. <laughs> Steve, uh, you're like famous for snooker, aren't you? Yeah. You are. You're famous for it. I mean, you you know, you don't want to ask a couple of questions, do you? Uh, you know, because you've been so famous. I mean, you you know, like, you've come, you've come along here and you're sitting there, like, all unsmiling, like you, you do. You're accused of it. You're accused a lot of that, aren't you? Of what? Not smiling. Well, I don't smile. I'll tell you what. I find it incredible. When you think about it, uh, this, it's all this rubber, that, um, you know, that, that fluck and law, how they've done it. Because you, you look, I actually feel as if I'm talking to the real thing. No, this is me. <laughs> but you know what it costs to get Steve Davis in here to talk to him properly. That's why we brought you in. You're a puppet. <laughs> look, look at the eyes moving, everywhere. not you didn't used to be on Thunderbirds, did you? You didn't come here on Thunderbird 1, did you? <laughs> so I know you get around it. I'm sure of I'm sure I've seen you. Um, ish, my lady. I'll go get the car. Okay, Parker. And I'm sure you're the geezer who drives Thunderbird 1. Brains. No, not brains. Virgil. Virgil, that's it. <laughs> Virgil Davis. Very interesting. Virgil Thunderbird Davis. Dun, 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 dun. I like Thunderbird. I like the mole best. What mole? Oh, that goes underground. I thought, like, if ever you got in trouble, you'd just call out the mole. Yeah, well, you've needed it a few times, haven't you? I know. Under the table. And, uh... Yeah. What happens if you've got the mole? Say you were playing somebody that, you know, you like. Well, like Who Alex. You? Well, whatever. And... You really, he's going to, and he goes, and this is for 20,000 pounds. <laughs> and you go, call in the mole. <laughs> right? Get the mole. Don't laugh. I'm giving you tips out of growing another million. Call the mole in. Then dun 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 dun. And Alex will go, my God, what's going on? And, well, that was Eamon. And, <laughs> and, and, and the mole, would, right, he goes, dink. And the mole suddenly throws through the table and it drops right down the middle. You go, ha, 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 I'm rolling up. What, like right. me? Yeah, and then, then, then Vir you, Virgil, come over in front of Bird One, <laughs> fill in the <laughs> hole, right? Get in your, get, run into the telephone box, change back into your Steve, very interesting Davis outfit, pop the ball, you won 20 grand. I mean, do you know a puppy that earns that sort of money? It's rubbed off, I bet it does some more. I'd like to thank you, Steve, for coming along today. You know, you, I like, I like to thank you very much indeed. I've enjoyed it. And there's just one thing I want to say to you, Steve. What's that? Red and yellow and pink <laughs> and <laughs> orange. Perfect. How many did you get for the orange? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Must be hard to pot an orange.
my first guest is a show business legend. He rose to fame in one of the most successful TV series of its day. Who can forget Thunderbirds A Go and the one and only Parker? Good evening, my lad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, my lad. Uh, shall I clear it up? No, 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 that's all right. Uh, that's all right, all right. It's just as well I can't get up like I used to. Hup. I said I can't get up like I used to. Oh, I see. Oh, oh sorry about that. My God, it's getting worse. Even in the old days, I'd be serving a cup of tea to Lady Penelope, and all of a sudden, whoa! What it? I'm highly strung. <laughs> I think now we're... You were Lady Penelope's battler, of course. Oh, yes, I battled her for many a time. Oh, oh no, not again. Oh, could you help me, please, my lad? Uh, yes, certainly. You're a big, strong boy, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Thank you. I was nearly choking. Now, in a nutshell. Exactly. In a nutshell. <laughs> In a nutshell, could you sum up your long career? Oh, yes. I started my career as a boot boy. Were you clean boots? No, I was a football hooligan. That's how I met Lady Penelope. She oh, was, yes. Where did you meet her? Well, she was a prison visitor. I was in Manchester at the time. Strange ways. Well, when you get a lot of men locked up together... <laughs> Down! Uh, are you all right? Oh, yes. It's the only exercise I get these days. What with that and break dancing. <laughs> now, uh, now, you met Lady Penelope. Hey, yes. Uh, I was in the carpentry shop at the time and she admired one of my fretwork teapot stands. Did you give her one? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I gave her one of my teapot stands. <laughs> um, I believe she loved travel. Ah, uh, yes. She, uh, <laughs> she was, she was a goer. Here, there, and oh. <laughs> And, uh, and now you've retired. Hey, eh? You've retired now. <laughs> Make a wish quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, oh, I couldn't keep it up, you know. She was very demanding. Uh, she kept your nose to the grindstone. You want to put it that way, sunshine? It's <laughs> uh, so where is Lady Penelope now? Uh, Cockfosters. Yes. What's she doing in Cockfosters? She's in a home for retired gentlefolk. Yes. Do you visit her? Yes, I visit her. I take her some grapes, the latest Jackie Collins. We sit and talk about this and that. And then someone rings a bell, we all get out of bed and go home. Parker, thank you. It's uh, been a pleasure. Yes, but that was some time ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's Natalie Enterline.
These days, it's illegal to keep dogs and cats in high-rise buildings. But many flat dwellers have found love and companionship Kenny. with a new breed of pet. Kenny! Kenny! The moose. <laughs> yes, Daddy's home. So it's not surprising that our loyal moose is getting so excited. And whilst he says hello to his master, the people downstairs can say goodbye to their light fittings. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, your moose can give you love, affection, and of course, concussion. Very quickly, the moose becomes a cherished member of your family. Whatever you're doing, whether it's sitting in front of the fire or watching TV, your moose is never far away. Come on, out the way. Candy, not now, now, over there, we're watching the dead. Candy, listen. Yes, he may not be man's best friend, but he's certainly man's biggest. Like any pet, your moose is going to love those little excursions. Although catching a bus is never going to be quite the same again. Put a little bit of weight on since the last one. There you go. Thankfully, there's always someone around to lend a hand. Well, that's a new slant on cheek to cheek. Hold very tight, please. But not to him. And the good news is, a moose travels half fair. Of course, all work and no play makes Moose a dull pet. And what could be nicer than going walkies in the local park? Where's the stick? Candy! Candy! The stick! The stick! Well, is he a lumberjack or just a lumber? Candy! Candy! But our loyal Moose is much more than just a pet. Come on, 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 come as a cock-up. <laughs> like any pet, the moose just loves the feel of the wind in its face. And so, as night falls at the end of another perfect day, it's time to reflect on all those moments you've shared with your loving pet. Yes, it's time to dream of all those adventures that are yet to come. <laughs> so why don't you get the love of a moose around your hoose? Good night, old friend. Reverend Hip, good luck. That old devil is luring you into the ways of evil and sin. And uh, we ain't gonna stand for that, are we? Yes. No, we're not. We're gonna walk on down that righteous path. Now, 
I want y'all to rise up. Come on, everybody, rise up. That's lovely. And now, I want y'all to sit down again. Because we ain't got to that bitch yet. Take a few. Yeah. And follow me down the path to righteousness. Who's gonna join me on my journey? Can I come with you, Ray? Yes, you can come. Can I come with you, Ray? Yes, you can come. Can and you're not coming. <laughs> oh, okay, you can join me. Follow me down that long, dark tunnel. Follow, follow me! Follow me! There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Follow me towards the darkness. I ain't going down there. <laughs> there is a light the end of the tunnel. Can you see the light? Yeah! I can't see it. Look, it's there. We see it! We see it! There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Here comes the light. No, it's not. It's a train. <laughs> Back to the We're gonna go down another road. <laughs> a better road. I walked right in, the saints began to pray, and the Lord came in. Yeah. I went to the altar, I couldn't find the fault. The saints began to pray, and the fire said, hold on. Jack Scoggis here worked hard for 50 years, but he didn't talk to the Prudential about a personal pension. So now Jack is a pitiful example of poverty and neglect, destitution and despair. One of life's forgotten... What? I did get a pension, Mel, from the Prudential. And I'm just going off on the holiday. Are you? <laughs> yes, well, have a marvelous trip. The Prudential sell more personal pensions than any other company. When it comes to money, you can't be too Prudential. Uh, the bit there, please. The, uh, the bitter? For the bread. Oh, you mean butter. You enjoy English food. Oh, I am mayonnaise. Amazed? No, no, a mayonnaise. It is so delicious. <laughs> It's French, yes? No, it's made by our own hinds, actually. Your own hinds? But I cannot believe it. And such beautiful hinds. <laughs> Try hinds. You'll be a mayonnaise. 
conventional wisdom, a sandpit for an ostrich. At the University of Life, we run a different course. Entitled, Who Am I? Pay attention. I may be asking questions. Look along the cold shelf. Mmm, that's right. Madison spreading patties. Mmm, a welcome sight. Spread them on your crackers. Mmm, a crunchy bite. Spread them thick for lunches. Mmm, pure delight. Spread them round for tea time. Mmm, they're just right. There are lots of Madison spreading patties to choose from. Why don't you spread some? Today. From now until June the 15th, you can buy any new Nissan Sunny interest-free. That's right, no interest charges and two years to pay on any Sunny, like this five-door SGX. But that's not all. You'll all be delighted at special offers on other models, all at your Nissan dealer now. Right, now, I'll play this show with play snakes and razors, OK? And this time, I have flea goals, cos you two have two goals last time you started cheating, so don't you do it again. OK? And we go... Flies at my rocky number! Oh. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, cobras! <laughs> no, I'm cobras, I'll go down a snake, look! Oh, just get that time and guys. Let me get this one. Oh, no. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Families at Home. I am honoured tonight. To Very honoured. <laughs> yeah, you get this up. I've got these six, you have no more, because I've got them, OK? Indeed. Very honoured to be here at the home of Mr and Mrs Takeaway. Mr. Takeaway, will you please introduce me to the delightful members of your family? Certainly. This is my wife. She rubbery. Yes, she is rubbery. <laughs> no, she rubbery. Look, there. Are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that won't make me clack out now. <laughs> I've got my children. I've got my children out the back here. I've seen them been oh, praying for me. Something. Come on, children, in you come. There we are. One, two, three. There we are. Three and a half. Him down here as well. <laughs> Bounce to honourable lady. I say, blow. <laughs> you have to let me mind them all that time. Ah, oh, dear. So, tell me, Mr. Taylor. Hey, do you know Ray Rallon? No. Yeah, he give me this. Oh, you got it. You got Keep blowing out for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. So, now, tell me, Mr. Takeaway... Go, you're you... Stop it! How are you adjusting to the English word? Oh, we rub it here. Already getting to the clips with the language. All right, you all like, you all like, all right, the best. <laughs> oh, and, hey, I had no gylo check all week. <laughs> and what is it you like most about England? Oh, we rub the soaps. Yeah, English but... soaps. Don't you have soap in China? Oh, yeah, we do, but it don't have dirty den and rofty in it. And Darius. Oh, you know, that's a... That's a JL here, a mean blugger. That JL? JL, surely. No, JL. Yeah, he mean. <laughs> yeah. I see that he you wet. have. He wet. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, let. I see that you have a photograph of the royal family on your wall. You've got some good eyes, Rady. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Are you fat? No, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I've flown in all those ad ribs. <laughs> I'm funny than Lust Rabbit. <laughs> of our royal family. Oh, we rub them, especially the Joke of Edinburgh. I think you mean the Duke of Edinburgh. No, the Joke, because he's a very funny man, especially when he say, you'll stay here too long, you go all slitty-eyed. We already here. <laughs> 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 he's better than Red Dawson. Brackety-bank, 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 bank Raggedy bank! No, Darren! Finish, Darren! You rat for family, you! Now, I understand that this is the year of the Chinese rabbit. Rabbit, yeah. So? Oh, Happy New Year, everybody! Should old Toyota understand? Oh, Honda 
I do hope that you've enjoyed tonight's show and I would like to say that I hope that one day that all of us here this evening, I hope that we all meet again. I hope that one, when you think about it, we met tonight as strangers, but we'll part not as strangers for we are all of us but ships that pass in the night. And as one ship to another, I say to you all, oh. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the people behind the scenes, the, the people that you don't see, the producer, the director, the, the writers, the costume designers, the musical director, I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> I would like to say that if I've said anything tonight that's been a bit untoward or not quite to anybody's liking or indeed not quite their sense of humour, may I say in all sincerity, I couldn't care less. <laughs> and who can forget those immortal memorable words Shakespeare said, which was... <laughs> well, I hope that one day that all of us do meet again, and who knows where we may meet. I'm gonna go my way, and you're gonna go your way. But what, sir, if I go your way? You might want to come my way, but no, I think I'll go your way. And if I go your way, have you got a car? Well, can I have a lift? And if I go your way in your car, He's not coming. <laughs> and who knows where we may meet? We may meet in a hotel lobby. If you happen to be there at the time. If you're not, we won't meet. And what if there's a revolving door? We may meet again and again and again. <laughs> and if I go your way, sir, in your car, I wonder where we'll end up. <laughs> Do you know? Hello? <laughs> We may drive down a little road, or a big road. We may stop in a lay-by and have a sandwich. <laughs> but if we brought him with us, he'd have remembered the sandwiches, so you can come. <laughs> and what if you open that sandwich box and find that there's no cheese? I like cheese. I, do, I like cheese sandwiches. Because they're simple. You know, if you have something else, it gets involved, doesn't it? You start putting lots of things. It's like peanut butter. Not cheese. Peanut butter is, is something totally different. I like it at night with toast. What if you haven't got a toaster in your car? <laughs> what are we going to do then, eh? Eh? Lay it on the grill. <laughs> you haven't got a grill in your car, have you? No, of course you haven't. You haven't answered me at all since I started speaking to you. <laughs> what about you people at home? What are you doing now? <laughs> Is there something for the kids who's still up? <laughs> <laughs> this show is, uh, is a memorable evening for me. It's the uh, first time that this particular company has given me the opportunity to do a show like this and I know now it's my love. <laughs> I'd like to thank them very much for whatever happens. I hope that one day that all of us here do meet again because to be quite honest with you all, I was that soldier. <laughs> Keep smiling through that love just like you, that's how you always, not too loud in the back, please. 
Next Monday, it'll be 20 years ago to the day that the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band LP was released. And at 8 o'clock, we'll have a very special two-hour program to celebrate. That's next Monday at 8 o'clock. Channel 4 and we go to Dartmoor for a quarter of films that follow the seasons through southern Britain's last great wilderness. Well, that was that, and this is this. Abracadabra, a new series for children aiming to bring excitement and fun into learning. Right. What about the rest of the world? Well, not a lot has been happening if we're to believe Tom Sharp's satire of college life, Porterhouse Blue. We were the last college to abolish celibacy. When was that? Uh, five years ago? A diversity for spring on Channel 4. Next tonight on Television South, our film Flight 90, Disaster on the Potomac.